Hey guys, welcome back to the Creative Make Studio. Welcome William, say hi. Hi. <laughs> William's going to help me do a video today, aren't you bud? Yeah, what are we doing? What's it called? Um, what would you call it? Water straws. Water straws? Call it water straws? We call it straw painting because we're blowing through a straw, aren't we? So to, for today's activity, you're going to need some paper, a straw, hold up your straw, uh, some watercolours, which I would recommend pre-wetting down so you can get more colour off of them, uh, and some water and paintbrushes. We've already been doing it. That's why our water's dirty. <laughs> so go ahead and grab your stuff, get it all together, and then come back and we'll show you how to do the activity. Okay, so to begin with, as I said earlier, you need to wet down all your paints just so that we can get more color off of them. Then we're going to put your straw down, buddy. You don't need that right now. I'll grab my straw because I'll need that in a second. We're going to get our water on our brushes and get some paint on there. I'm just going to drip it on our page. So plenty of water. Might get some blue. Might need a bit more water on your brush, mate. Turning it into orange. I'm turning it to orange. Get some yellow. So this is the first step, just dripping our paint onto our page. And also William's doing a different dripping technique. I'm just making a mess. Alright. You're nearly ready for the next bit. You're making a mess, mate. I don't care. All right. So for our next bit, we're going to get our straws, and we want to try and blow directly on top. So, William, you show everyone how to blow. You're going to blow harder than that, dude. That's it. <laughs> all right. So we're going to just blow our, and you can see it moves all over the place. Sometimes the colours mix together. Hold yours up, buddy. I'll move this out of the way so people can see. Really cool. So when the more colour you put on here, the more it's all going to mix together and more fireworky it's going to look. And then sometimes once it's all dry, I encourage the kids to turn them into little monsters. So you can get like a black um, marker and do that. The other thing that I've done before is... Um, put clouds like cotton balls on the so if I was to put cotton balls on the top here it would look like clouds with rain coming down so you can turn it into another picture otherwise it makes really nice collage paper so once it's all dry you can um, chop it up and use it for other things what's your idea Will? Or you could have to put another layer and make it more colourful. You could you could put another layer on top as well if you want to choose some different layers on the top you could frame it up and you can hang it on the wall because it's pretty cool. So this is another really easy activity that you guys can do at home. I do sell these little um, watercolours here in the studio. So if you would like some, you can ring and pay over the phone and I can drop them to you at home. Um, I'm, I'm actually hoping to get all of this sort of stuff up on the website soon. But it takes forever. Uh, the other thing that you can do as well, if you want to keep going, buddy, you can keep going. The other thing that you can do as well is join our Creative Makes Kids Facebook page. Um, this is a page, a group that I've actually made that's attached to the Creative Makes Facebook page. And it's just for the kids. Just be careful. You're making a really big mess all over the table. Yeah. It's just for the um, Creative Makes Kids to be able to actually show their work. Um, so they can take photos or videos of the work that they've been doing and pop them up on the on the Facebook group. So if you'd like to join that, it's actually um, 
you have to request to join. So if I don't know who you are, I won't let you join. So it's a, it's a safe space for the kids. 